hey guys today we'll talk about the error message no bootable devices found so today i was working and out of the blue i have got this error message no bootable devices please please restart system uh, i have created this video in order in order to get the resolution for this and um, below is the steps which have been mentioned in this video if you follow these steps you will be fine so let's go step by step so this error message can be found in below ways it could be no bootable device it could be no bootable device is available or found please reboot the machine their specific error message is also been included here 3fo which is says that please install an os on your hard disk so let's go step by step now first point i would like to make it clear is that it is not irrespective with any company's laptop or any windows it is not specific to any windows here for example it could be uh, it this could happen in any laptop hp dell lenovo racer and uh, um, so in this video we'll discuss about how to repair this issue for windows 7 8 and windows 10 so first we'll go for the solution one so the solution one is very basic and very simple to understand and follow we need to understand this that uh, our computer is even recognizing our hard disk or not that is a very simple diagnostic test we can do in hp uh, it can be done via f2 there there will be there will be a prompt screen which ask you to run a you know memory test hard disk test and etc so i just ran a hard disk test and it was successful for me thank god it was successful for me and then we furthermore we check then how to restore the bios settings we did just uh, we we turned off the laptop and then when i restarted when i turned on the laptop i just clicked f10 now why i'm saying f10 is because for hp to go to bios you need to click f10 it could be f4 or it could be f5 according to your laptops company's uh, bios settings so maybe you need to check that but uh, for example i'm taking an example for hp here when 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 you'll click f10 you'll go into the bios setup menu now there's one option you can do you can click f9 and the bios setting will be reset it so uh, whatever the changes would have been done mistakenly by you in the bios will be reset it uh once you will click f9 once i have clicked f9 and i'll click on the f10 it will save the settings and it will get out of that screen so this could this was my first solution for this problem if this has solved the problem that's very great if it has it, it hasn't solved the problem we have two further solutions upcoming so i am going down for the second solution it says okay so let me explain you this the screenshot i have opened here it is uh, the screenshot is nothing but the bios settings in my hp system so once i'll click f10 it will go to the system configuration and under the system configuration we have this settings boot options and bios settings so now if you see the second solution is to ensure if the legacy support is enabled now what i mean legacy support is if you see this my uh, pointer i have highlighted legacy support and for my system it is right now enabled you need to make sure that your legacy support is enabled and if i'm coming to next snippet it says if you'll go into the legacy support and click enter it will show two options uh, in case if your legacy support is disabled make it enable and you understand this point here is it says that whenever a legacy support is enabled bios will read the settings from the legacy boot order and otherwise it will read the settings from the uefi boot order so according to the system settings you have right now just ensure your legacy support should be enabled right here another point i would like to point out here is that if you if you see if you have selected legacy support as enabled and now the system will read legacy boot order now you can change the settings i mean what what i mean is you can change these values up and down with the help of f5 and f6 button so yeah 
so in case if your legacy settings is disabled you need to make it enable and just click f10 that means save settings and exit and just restart your system and let's see if the system has worked or not as expected in case if it still is not working as expected we have third solution right away waiting for you so now let's go for the third and last solution we have for this issue i'm scrolling down and it says solution three and uh, what it's stating is that repair operating system was set partition it as active on windows what it does what exactly it means is that uh, there's some issue has happened with your existing operating system and you need to repair that or you need to mark your partitions which is the primary partition if in case that has been marked as inactive you need to change from inactive to active in the in your windows so I'm, I'm 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 giving a point to point description for this solution now you need to follow these steps okay uh, before saying that this something uh, this 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 why this solution we are going through is because this could be due to that your operating system files could be due to uh, could have been deleted or lost or damaged accidentally which could have which could have led to this mm -hmm. problem so uh, we are following this this just follow the steps as below um you need to prepare a bootable device bootable so basically you need to prepare a disk or maybe a pen drive or maybe dvd anything you can um, just keep it ready and it has the capability of uh, bootable window which can be installed in your system so basically the idea here is to install the will not going to install exactly but uh, in order to make the inactive partition active we'll just going to insert that bootable device into our system and once that will be installed so for example let like i'm taking an example of usb flash right just go to the google and follow the steps how to prepare a usb to a bootable device it will show the step by step instructions follow those instruction and you'll be fine and just connect it to your pc after connecting it restart it taking a restart it will lead to the installation process and once it will come to the installation process you need to launch the command prompt the the, the steps are very simple i'm just going to i i'll hover the step i'll hover my mouse over the steps to make them understand so let's let's talk about windows 7 here the guys who are using windows 7 and have faced this issue and now going through the solution third is uh, can follow these steps as as below so first is insert the windows 7 dvd or co uh, your usb flash drive take a restart of your pc press any key to boot the window or dvd once uh, the new window installation screen comes up which could be like this i have given a snippet for that once the screen comes up it says to go to the command prompt you need to click shift plus f10 which i highlighted as well for your convenience you need to click shift plus f10 and it will lead to a command prompt screen a prompt up will come up which is the cmd and then you need to do the you need to follow the steps below steps uh, first write down disk part it will show the disk part details and then you need to click on the list d disk it will show all the disk associated with your system right away um, then you need to click uh, which uh, for my system it was showing only one disk that is disk 0 and that is the reason I have mentioned here is select disk 0 which means it will select the systems disk 0 and then you need to click enter and now you need to write list partitions this command means all the partitions will come up for that disk and once you'll uh, list down all the partitions you need to select which partition you want to active make as active which was inactive earlier so for example for my uh, for my inst uh, in, in my instance partition was was set as inactive for which i wanted to make it as active <coughs> so when i wrote select partition one and press enter 
I just wrote active to make it active and once doing that you need to click exit and take a restart of your system if the steps are not clear as of now don't worry guys I have given each and each steps screenshot down below in my word document so don't worry I'm coming to that once again I'm going to the each step which I have just mentioned it's very simple once you need to insert any external device which includes your bootable uh, you know seven uh, windows 7 bootable device pre pen drive dvd cd drive anything hit take a restart of your system press any boot key and after pressing any boot key you need to click the repair your computer and once you're clicking repair your computer you need to select shift plus f10 to open the command prompt screen again you need to enter in in command prompt you need to enter disk part then you need to enter disk disk and again you need to select which disk you want to you know uh, for which disk you need to select the partition exactly and then you need to give the list uh, list partition and then select the partition for example in my case I, 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 I selected partition 1 and then click enter and just click and just enter active and then type exit and take a restart of your system now i'm coming to the windows 8 the steps will be same for 7 8 and windows 10 however i'm coming uh, to the step uh, step by step i am following up uh, just to make sure that there will not be any confusion again first step uh, first uh, windows 8 steps again you need to and uh, you need to insert any bootable device could be pen drive could be cd could be dvd doing that boot your system take a restart of your system and then it will show this repair your computer you need to click on this repair your computer click troubleshoot and then click command prompt again the idea here is to make the inactive partition to active and we need to do that via command prompt how we need to go to the command prompt is the only way is to go to the repair your system and once you'll come into the command prompt is you need to enter again the same steps disk part then list the disk and then you need to select select which exactly disk you want to uh, select here as a computer's primary disk again for that disk you need to list down all the partitions once the partitions are list down you need to select which partition we need to go further with and uh, we need to uh, set as inactive again once we selected for example in my case i selected partition one type active and come out as active uh, exit and take a restart of your system now okay guys i have you have been followed up till now so now we are coming up for windows 10 again the steps are absolutely same i'm just following up so that you know there will not be any confusions confusions for you guys again you need to insert any usb or you know cd or dvd click now here you need to make sure to open the command prompt you need to select shift plus f10 once the command prompt comes up you need to enter disk part then list disk then select which exactly disk you want to work with then list the all the partitions you have select exact exactly which partition you need to set as active then put it as active i mean type it as active and then click enter then click uh, enter exit and click enter then take a restart of your pc so now i'm coming up to the snippets which i was which i mentioned earlier so if you see i have given here is list disk it will list out all the disks here so for example i need to select disk 0 so uh, select disk 0 it it says that disk 0 is selected now all the partition if i'll if i if i want to list down all the partitions for disk 0 i will put it as list partition it will list down all the partitions for example now if i want to take select partition one it will i need to enter as select partition one click enter and you need to give as active command and done that's it so it's again so there's another way we need we can do that is active the volume we can active uh, as so far i have mentioned active the partition you can active the volume as well for your disk again the steps are very same instead of 
list partition you need to enter list volume and then again you need to select which volume you want to select for example select volume one and keep it as active and directive and that's it so for example here if i show okay there's an exception uh, we have here is that if you have a if you have gpt partition and you will uh, put it and you will give a command as active you could face an error like this the selected disk is not a fixed mbr disk so uh, this is the one exception i wanted to highlight here again these are some precaution steps you need to follow or i can say these are some prerequisite uh, steps we need to make sure you're following it first is if you uh, you need to open the command prompt as a run as administrator and second is uh, one disk okay so this is the basic uh, go to statement is that one disk can only have one active partition active partition is used for system running there's no no need to set all the partitions as active so i hope this video these three solutions would have helped you and i hope if this has been helped kindly like share and subscribe this channel thanks a lot for all the help